and I should have tweeted it, probably. But um, we'll keep Twitch very, very small over here, so we can keep an eye on it. And we'll start, and the thing is we're going to be doing random runs. So, I think we got Isaac there, not too sure, but I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, we got Isaac, and straight into our item room, and we get Harlequin Baby. Not awful, pretty good actually. Helped a lot in my um, previous runs of this game. Let's close down Steam. Uh, back over here, there we go. Uh, these guys aren't too bad. My frame rate is tanking a lot because I'm streaming this. I forgot about that. You will notice how awful my machine is since I can't stream Finding of Isaac. Which is in no way a hype it out of the game. I mean, it's a good looking game, but it's not high fidelity in any sense of the word. Kill the spiders. Ugh. Spiders are my least favorite enemy in this game. Well, the ones I hate the most. I hate all of the enemies in this game, but the ones I hate the most are the spiders. It's because they're so small and hard to hit, and they just go a lot further than you think that they would. Now, what else have we got? Uh, a red chest? We will use a bomb to get open that. Red chests... Err... Uh, Okay, we got teleported to the deal of the dev room, and I think that's Spirit of the Night, but is it worth it? Ah, screw it. It's our first run of the night. Why not? This gives us spectral tears and the ability to fly. Not too awful. Uh, <laughs> it might be pretty awful, but, you know, go hard or go home, man. You know, there's no point in doing things in half measures. That's the first door. If we die, we'll just reset. Huh. Could have sworn a secret room was there, but... Oh well. No such luck. And the Widow. I'm going to die. I hate playing as the Widow. Although I have gotten better, I think. Just keep moving, that's the main thing. <coughs> Harlequin Baby will help with some crowd control, I think. Well, I hope. And hopefully the Widow itself will uh, kill a few of her offspring. Like that. And I'm tanking a lot. Because... Screw laptops. If you want to take any information away from me, it's never game off a laptop. And we got a speed upgrade, which... You know, we probably don't really need. But, um... It's, it's, it's nearly better than nothing. Nearly better. Ah. I was going to sneeze there for a while. Now, basement two. Curse of Darkness. Yay. And here's where we die. Oh, we've got spectral tears. It's fine. We can shoot over the rocks. So, uh, we come down here. We've got these dudes. Hopefully shouldn't last too long. There we go. No problems. No problems at all. That key will help us open our item room. Uh, only bad thing about Spectral Tears is they can't really shoot fire or poop. And of course shooting poop is useful because you may get a coin out of it. Shoop de whoop. Pretty awful. Better than nothing though. And shoot this fire please. Thank you. 
I mean, we will shoot the fire because, you know, it could happen. We could get something remotely useful out of it. I think shooting the fire with Harley Quinn Baby is a lot... is actually a lot more effective than shooting it ourselves. Which, uh, is a strange bit of dependence. Spectral tears are handy here. Save us a lot of damage. And we've got no bombs, so we can't open that tinted rock. So over we go to the other side. Let's see what's over here. More of these dudes. Shouldn't last too long, I hope. Longer than I thought, but, you know. I think Harley Quinn Baby's doing more damage than we are. Is it because it's got red tears, or... Is it just me? I don't know. Um, I don't think we're going to go straight to the boss room. We're going to have a look around first, see where we haven't fought. Here's where we came in. That's the shop, I think. We've got three cents, so the shop is pretty much useless. Um, spectral tears again here will help. But keep in mind that we've got terrible HP. And I mean awful. God awful. Like, one heart is not enough to get you through the entire game. And I can't even play the entire game because I haven't beaten it enough times yet. We're just playing for, um... To beat Mom's heart. Uh, run away from the flies. Okay. Everything is more difficult at a lower frame rate. Well, that's my excuse anyway. Uh, I think we'll just go fight the boss. And see what we get. Secret room w maybe is... Here? Oh, I don't have a bomb anyway. So, that was useless. Uh, it's probably above us now. Like, right in there. Let's see if we get a bomb. <coughs> Yeah, here's where I die. <laughs> Famine is difficult. But, I just wasted that, so... Yeah. I wasted my one shoop to whoop charge. Being to fly, or being able to fly in itself is uh, pretty good defensively. Uh, disregard everything I've ever said. Come on, die. Thank you. Okay, we've got a heart back and a cube of meat. Um. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. We're going to die eventually, but we're going to see if we can prolong that. Now, we've got one viewer, and that viewer is me. What else have we got? We've got some maggots, which are hopefully going to die quickly. Because they're killing my frame rate. Thank you. And now everything's better. Uh, these guys suck. Just, just keep dodging and it should be fine. So dodging, not walking into stuff. Alright, that's one dealt with. Here's probably the po most problematic. If we could just finagle some shots in like this. Just moving back and forth. 
like that. And eventually it all gets dealt with. What have we got? We've got have a heart and a bomb. Not amazing, but not awful either. I'll just get my mouse out of the way. I forgot about that, sorry. Um I don't know what these are. Fistula, I think it's called, but um, they're not particularly difficult to deal with. You just gotta kill them, really. Well, in this room it would have been difficult if we didn't have the ability to fly, because we wouldn't have mu very far to go anywhere, but um, since we do have the ability to fly, it's pretty, pretty easy. And uh, it's a heart that we can't use. You know what? Just screw those guys. Shoot the whoop! You being useful in very um, specific situations. There's our first bit of damage in a while. We go back and take a half heart, and we can continue on our way. Um to say about stuff that we've done so far. What we're lacking, uh, apart from the obvious HP, um, some damage would be nice. A steady frame rate would be awesome, but you know, can't always get what we wish for. Um, well, that would be pretty good. We have the ability to fly, we've got spectral tears, which is awesome. A good spacebar item be pretty good. Um, HP upgrades really is just a, a must. Uh, that's a shop, so no. We have to find our item room before we go to that um, boss fight. And hopefully it's something good. There's our item room. These turrets, I hate them so much. Just because they fire so much stuff. And they go so far. They got a uh, good range. And we've got poison touch, I think. Yeah, the virus, poison touch. So anything that touches us gets hurt. Which kind of useless when you've got no HP. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers and whatnot. Haven't unlocked the D6 yet, which uh, allows me to re-roll items. But, you know, whatever. Um, now we just go fight the boss, because we've got literally nothing better to do. Ooh. And then he pressed E there. Oh, god damn it, I pressed space bear and that, that that's that used <sighs> I miss clicks the bane of my existence fistula yeah that's a, that's what it's called shouldn't be too bad with spectral tears in regards to defense obviously but uh, offense some uh, some damage would be pretty awesome just, just putting it out there. Damage would be nice. And we can just basically camp out over this rock for the entire fight, but that would be no fun. Speaking of camping out over the rock, we're going to stay here for a while because those maggots, I don't like them. Gonna move to this rock. Defensively, we're being very smart, but offensively, it's kind of boring, so. Gonna move a little bit.
because nobody wants him wants to watch a man sit in the corner and and win very slowly. They want action and stuff, right? <laughs> That's what I'd want if I, if I was watching this. Little Chubby has appeared in the basement. See, we're unlocking things, doing achievements and whatnot. Damage, thank you very much. And the music is still playing because we got an achievement, I guess. And that screwed it up. There we go. Music started. And I think we're going to go look for our secret room, which maybe is adjacent to the shop. Like right here. Maybe. So. Nope. I think there's only one other spot for it. Which is up here in the kind of the U shape. So if we just place one there and run away. And we've got the Ankh. Which is pretty good, actually, when we're um very low on HP. So yeah, that's uh, it's not awful actually. This go run, this run is going a little bit better than expected. The only thing we really, really desperately need is HP. And how many? Oh, someone said hello in the chat. Welcome, uh, Life Taker. Nine is it? Yeah, Life Taker Nine. Welcome to the stream. Uh, so we'll continue. Uh, we've got the Ankh, so we can kind of not worry about health for her like a little bit. Well, we're still going to worry about it, and yeah, we can just basically move on. There's nothing more to do in this floor, and what we're really looking for altogether is some HP upgrades. And there's Isaac being all sad and stuff. It's basically the entire team theme of the game. And now, um, flies and stuff. Uh, the trick with these flies is if you don't move, they can't hit you. Because they fire... Well, they're not going to fire now because uh, I was trying to make a point. I right, just fire at me. You, you're the last one. See, they fire in a split shot like Harlequin Baby. So they can't fire directly where they're aiming. So, yeah, like here. If I just stay here, they won't hit me. Famous last words. <laughs> See? Hail of bullets not being hit by any of them. Well, now we have to move to kill them, but, you know, whatever. It's a trade-off. Do you want to stay alive, or do you want to keep moving forward? It's like life, really. Uh, the Ankh, uh, it revives you if you die with, I think it's two spirit hearts? I think so. But, um, I'm not too sure. Every time I get it, I, I, uh, I win the, the run, so I'm not quite sure what happens. But, um, I think we're going to die in this run because I've only got one heart. So that's basically two hits and we're out. And, uh, one hit after, if we beat Mom. So, uh, boss fight is there. We're not going to go to it. We're going to go find our item room first, and... Hopefully, we'll find it pretty soon. So, what have we got? We've got... We've only done three rooms. We've got a key. Always welcome. Thank you very much. And we've got these little nubs. And... See, that would kill me in one shot. <laughs> so we have to kill this guy first. Okay, thank God he's firing the other way. And spiders, we've mentioned spiders before, I hate spiders, they're just so damn sneaky. So, kill this thing so we can, so we can't generate anymore. And we've got another bomb. Consumable is always welcome, keys, bombs. These guys will kill me in one shot, so we shoot the whoop. And try to get as rid of many, of as many of them as we can. Uh, run away. Hey. He uh, opened our second secret room for us, which is always nice. Hopefully there's a 
what's it called, a HP upgrade in here. It's a fortune teller, which could give some spirit hearts. Yay, we've got one. Uh, I think we'll leave it at that because our luck isn't isn't that good. We'll get one thing and move on. Thank the gods for what they've given it to us and uh, try not to rely too heavily on it. So, move, moving forward as ever. Uh, okay. How do we deal with those spiders without... We do that, really. Uh, without shooting the poop. Which would uh, anger those flies. And those flies are a bitch to deal with. Uh, fucking spiders! <sighs> I hate spiders. I like spiders in real life, but in this game they're just, like... Awful to deal with. Um, hmm. There's a shop there and a curse room. And a judgment. I think we'll do the judgment because we don't have enough money to get anything really good out of the shop. And judgment. Mom's bottle of pills. This gives us a random pill every time. Let's see what we get. We've got a white pill, and the white pill is bombs a key, and that's turned our four bombs into four keys, and our two keys into four bombs. Um, keys are pretty good. I think keys are worth more than bombs. Because, uh, bombs allow you to access secret rooms, but, uh, keys allow you to access, uh, item rooms. And I think item rooms and shops are way more important than, uh, your average secret room. Don't get me wrong, the, uh, the odd secret room could, like, hold a game-winning item. I never complain about a secret room if, if, if I find it, but um, I'd prefer a item room or a shop. If all came to all. Ooh, oh, I forgot we were flying there. Got worried. Now, we've got an extra charge in our shoot dupe, and hopefully the shop is down here. It's on our right. A golden poop. What's in the golden poop? I must know. Lots of money. Awesome. Uh, is that enough to go to the shop? I don't think so. If we try to avoid those flies... No, 13 cents. So what have we got in here? We've got another syringe. This is really weird. Usually only one shows up. Well, one at the most. But, um, which one is this? Hormones. The common cold has appeared in the basement. Speed plus damage. I'm not gonna say no to that. Uh, okay. Actually, quite quick now. And we're firing red tears. Red tears mean more power, I think. Probably. You know, red is anger and stuff and whatever. Uh, I think we're gonna shoot these poops just to anger the flies. Because if we leave and come back, the flies disappear. Like this. Well, usually, anyway. Please, yeah. So, if we shoot. Shoot the poop. Like this, go out, and come back. Flies are gone. Little life hack for you there. If you ever to pick up Binding of Isaac, which I'd advise you to do. We don't have to worry about those flies, because, like I said before, they can only fire at... Whoa, okay, we have to worry about those damn spiders, though. See, they always move further than you think they would. Which... It's good for spiders, not good for you. But our damage has gone way up, and I think we're one-shotting them. If I could just hit one. There we go. Yeah, we're one-shotting pretty much everything. Uh, go fight the boss or continue? Continue. See who we can get. There's nothing left anyway. So, go fight the boss, see who our boss is. Catacombs 2. Boss can't be that difficult, can it? And we'll see if you can find our secret room. It's probably here. Maybe? If not, it's maybe on the other side. Um, yeah, I think that's the most logical place it could be. Yeah, there we go. And another fortune teller. There's fortune tellers all over the place in there. 
Uh, I was kind of hoping that would be money so we could go to the shop, but, you know, can't win them all. 15 cents is really what you need to, uh, to buy the, the most important item in the shop, which is usually, um, maybe a map or a compass. Uh, we scream if it's not stacks, because that is the most useless thing in the game. It's a spacebar item which allows you to crush one rock. Which is not useful at all, especially when you can fly. It's pretty awful. Now the husk is it's like Duke of, Duke of Flies. They uh, summons his own like little bodyguard flies. We've got no rocks to hide behind here, so this may be a bit difficult. But uh, thankfully, our damage is pretty high. We'll shoot the whoop, and we can hopefully finish this in a bit of style. Pretty, pretty soon. There we go. And will we get a deal with the devil? And if we get a deal with the devil, and it's pretty good, I might take it because the ankh will keep us going. We have gotten a deal with the devil, and we also got a HP upgrade. So, what we do is we have a look, see what we got. The mark will kill us. Guppy's paw we can't take unless some weird crap happens. Uh, Guppy's paw. Wouldn't be that useful in this. But, um... I think we count our blessings. Take the HP upgrade. Move on. Avoid the Merc. And maybe, you know, we might get a deal with the Angel because we've said no to the Devil. At least I think that's how it works. And we're gonna move on. Hopefully not die. The Depths Part 1. Ah. Now, Masks of Infamy, uh, and Hearts. So, the story with these guys is you have to kill the Hearts to kill the Masks. You can't deal damage to the Masks themselves, because they're assholes, uh, pretty much. So, kill a Heart, kill a Mask. Pretty much. S straight trade-off. And the Hearts can fire if you get too close to them. Which kind of sucks. That's why I hate these enemies. They're like the hardest enemy in the entire game. Uh, oh, Cuban Meat doing its job there. Protecting us from our own stupidity. And a few more shots for you. And you should be done. Come on. There we go. Oh, life bomb, run away. Okay, what else do we got? We've got... More masks, but no rocks to hide behind, so we may die here. But it, our, our item room is up here, so... We can't run away from this room. We have to... Well, if we want to do well, we have to play through this room. And die, thank you. The only objective, the the only, well, maybe good thing about having a terrible frame rate is uh, it allows you a little bit more time to react to things. But um, I mean, your your movement speed doesn't really change, but your ability to react, ability to react, improves very slightly. I think. Well, that's my theory, anyway. And we have X-ray goggles. Pretty good. Uh, that allows us, like, pretty much free entry to uh, secret rooms and super secret rooms. They just open it up, shows us where it is. And shoot the poop, please. Thank you. Just shoot it once, please. Thank you. There we go. Um... Get as close as possible. Or you could just hit it with the cube of meat. Why have I not been doing that? Because fire fire hurts. Fire is dangerous and whatnot. Uh I have no idea what item we just got. 
Can't remember, that's a... Bombs a key. Which I think is pretty awful right now. What am what did, what did we just get? My memory is awful. Um, I don't know. Oh well. Oh wait, we can pause and find out what we got. We got oh extra goggles. Awesome. Uh, no, don't die. Go back. We very rarely pause in this game. And we are going to not fight the boss yet. We're going to go find some more stuff and kill it, hopefully. Let's see, there's our uh, x-ray goggles at work there showing us where the secret room is. Uh oh, dear god, dear god! Okay, I get it. I'm running out of battery. Pause. Plug in the laptop. <laughs> okay, that's a bit better now. So now we can keep going and not die and stuff. It's giving us a heart and a key. Uh, fuck. I was going to get hit there. There's nothing I could really do about it. Well, that's not true. I guess I could have... Fuck! God... Damn it. Uh, let's see what's in our secret room anyway. Might be greed? Yep, it's greed. So... God damn it. He'll drop a lot of money though, so... Trip to the shop should be viable. And... Because of this, greed won't be in the shop. Die! Thank you. Oh, he's dropped the... Steam sale. But you know, that means everything's half price in the shop. So let's see if we can go to a special room like this. We can't, but we've got pretty easy enemies, but awful turrets that fire bombs that just kill us in one go. So we may have to run away from this. Yeah, I really don't want to die. So what we're going to do is we're going to try get some hearts. We got some flies. Not good. Gamble, get some hearts. Gamble, get some hearts. Got a key. Can't really say no to a key. Well, alright. Well, give me a heart. Just, just one heart is all I need. Thank you. Okay. Um, now we feel reasonably safe. I say reasonably, but, you know, not awfully brilliant. Stop doing that, please. It's like these guys want to kill me, you know? And that's not very fair. I mean, all I'm doing to them is just, like, killing them. I'm crying on them, really. They'd kill a crying child. Doesn't seem fair to me. Uh, what else have we got? We've got nothing, really. But there's our super secret room. Thank you, X-ray vision. And if it's an eternal heart, we leave it for a while. We can take it before we go down to the next floor. Because this is Necropolis 1, we're not fighting Mom, we can get out of the, uh... We can get out of the fight. It just hurts. Alright, well, we can keep coming back here, I guess. Um... Hmm. Up, I guess? And this is an awful room. Two hits and I'm dead. Do they not fire from that close? Or that far away even? Yes, they do! So does that thing. Holy shit. Uh, okay. See? Having no health is scary! 
Die, please. Just be deceased. Thank you. Now you close your eyes. That's good. Now, uh, we've got seven cents, so we should be able to buy the compass, which is pretty awesome. Now we know where everything is. Well, we will once we leave this room. But I think we've gone to all the important rooms. And because we got we picked up the steam sale, everything is half price. And there's just a, a sacrifice room that we missed out on. I think we'll just go fight the boss. Try to move on. Speed things up a little, you know? Because more than likely we're not going to get any more powerful than we already are. Bombs of key isn't really useful until the heart fight. And by then, who knows, we could have picked up a load of bombs anyway, and it could just be completely useless. Um... Ah. I'm sorry, my leg was in a really awkward place, and I've got a load of books on the floor. I have to avoid. The bloat may kill me. Hopefully we can just shoot the whoop. Deal a lot of damage initially. And just kind of tank our way out of this. Well, fly our way out of this, because he does that. Uh. And this thing. Which sucks. It's like a overpowered version of Peep. I mean, Peep is pretty easy to deal with, but this guy is uh, a bit more difficult because of that laser sideways and down thing he does. Oh, I didn't know the eyes could go over the rocks. Okay, this is uh, quite dangerous right now. We've only got one health left. You better drop a HP upgrade, please. Just drop one. One more health is all I need. That was pretty close, pretty clutch. Cube of meat saved my life, thank you very much. And he always jumps to where you are, I think. So, just keep moving and you should be okay. Well, where you were when he left the floor. Now, please just die already. How did we not take damage there? I don't know. There we go. And we've got a HP upgrade. Uh, tears and HP, so we should fire a bit faster. It's not amazing, but we'll have to take it. And we'll move on. So... We haven't died yet, so I haven't found out exactly what the Ankh does. So, yeah. I'm sorry, Life Taker 9, if you're still here. Um, we haven't figured out anything yet. And the secret room is a, a slot machine. We've got no coins, so why are we still here? I don't know. I had to scratch my nose, I guess. Turrets are awful. Don't like them. Mainly because they can do things like that. Please die, thank you. And it's a live bomb, run away. Item room is only over here, so... It should be okay to get straight away. God damn it. <laughs> Item rooms haven't been too bad to us yet, actually. So... Ooh, hopefully, the trend of niceness continues. And we get something good. I mean, Sheep to Whoop isn't amazing, but... It's not pretty off. Magneto, that's okay. Actually, it's pretty useless since we can fly, but, you know, whatever, we're going to take it, because I'll take pretty much anything at this stage. 
can't re-roll it anyway because we haven't got the um, what's it called the d6 I don't know why I'm coming down here I guess more to have a look than anything else and there's a library there which may be worth checking out we've got five keys why not You know, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, thank you, cube of meat. Saving my ass again. Let's see what's in the library. The library is telepathy for dummies and anarchist cookbook. Anarchist cookbook will probably kill us if we pick it up. So I think we'll stick with shoop de whoop. I said we'll stick with shoop de whoop space to use. Um, I think we just head for the uh, boss room now because we've got no money for the shop. The fighting room isn't really my style. And yeah, we'll just keep going. Hopefully it's up here. It's not. It's down and somewhere else. But you know, whatever. And the things are creeping towards me because I've got the magnet. Not because I'm, like, a gaming god or anything. I'm not saying that I'm not, but... I'm not saying that I am. I'm not really, though. Uh, okay. Back up to full health. I like being on full health. In everything I play, being on full health is pretty much better than any other. <laughs> That's the b downside of uh, the the magnet. It takes live bombs and like pushes them towards you. Not a good thing. Okay, um, we're going this way because we have no other choice. Hopefully, we can kill one of these flies and kill off a few things. Ooh, a nickel. Oh, a dime actually. So we may go to the shop. It could be worth it. Going to the shop is 99%. 99 t times out of 100 worth it. If you have 15 cents. Oh, we've got the steam sale, so everything's half price anyway. Ah. Useful. Can you stand on the... Yes, you can. You can stand on the nothing. Alright then. These guys I also hate because you have to watch every single one of them. Because if they fly up like that, they're going to jump on top of you. It's either watch every single one of them, or just fly around like a madman, and... Flying around like a madman is not my style! I like a bit of control in what I do. Sometimes. Well, the majority of times. Other times, though, crazy is good. And I think we'll go down, try find the shop. Uh, yeah, because this room should be fairly easy to deal with, because they're just going to walk towards me. And they can traverse the gaps over here. So we just sit in the corner, hold down, pussy way out. Actually, you know, choop to whoop. Why not? We're gonna get another charge before we have to fight the boss, probably, hopefully. Yeah, we should anyway. What's the worst that could happen? We could fight Larry Jr. That's not the worst that could happen. That's pretty okay, actually. Oh, ooh, an eternal heart. Okay. That's a uh, HP upgrade if we leave the room, the floor with it. So. But what's happening is we're fighting mom. So. We're going to leave the room. Mandatorily, we have to leave the room anyway, with the floor anyway. Unless we get it. Telepills. So we're, we may take that before we go into the boss and risk losing it, but um, we're not leaving it there anyway. Definitely not. So. But a very strange drop out of a, a poop. And hopefully we'll get to the shop after this. More money, always a good thing. But then again, you know, more money, more problems. You got more shit to deal with. 
not really worth it. Okay, a cube of meat saving my ass again. Uh, bomb friend. Pretty awful, I think. Well, I guess it's okay because we're not. Um, we're not gonna have to deal with any more shops after this, so we don't really need the money. Uh, unless we get money equals power, then you know. I don't. Really, I don't even know if I have money equals power unlocked. So we may have to come back and get that eternal heart. So. Yeah, we can just uh, waste four on this. Hopefully we can get a, a spirit heart, which should help protect our uh, eternal heart. Isaac's fork. I don't know what that does. Go outside. I've been outside all day. And at the moment it's quite cold out there. You're throwing a life away. Uh, Alright then. Uh, nubs. Nubs are pretty easy to diff. They're pretty easy to difficult, pretty easy to deal with, but um, I just for oh it gives you health I guess um, every now and again, and the bomb is gonna creep towards us very gently. What does this pill do? Ooh, I didn't, I forgot that we haven't taken this pill yet. Um, bad guess, pretty useless, but you know whatever. More money, and a key. oh I should, probably should have let bum friend pick up some of that money. But, whatever. Shit happens. Blow up. Blow up, 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 blow up. I said blow up. That's the bad thing about spectral tears. They don't hit anything. There's not a heart there. Or half a heart. And the tick. I can't remember what the tick does. But I know it's pretty good, and it doesn't allow you to pick up any more trinkets unless you get um, Mom's purse or something, uh, which gives you more trinket room. So I think we'll just take it and move on. Forget it happened. Shut up. Don't tell anyone. And we're going to grab that eternal heart. Bombs are key is pretty much useless at the moment because we have five bombs and five keys. Uh, and three coins, actually. So, we're going to take the Eternal Heart, play the um, Fortune Teller. Hopefully we can get some uh, Spirit Hearts to insulate our um, Eternal Heart. Okay, alas, now. Now is later. Stop telling me how to live my life! God damn it. Um, a sun god. Is there a sun god in Ireland? I don't think so. I mean, it's pretty sunny today. But, um... Summer... Ireland in summer is a uh, once a year thing. Okay, I took off a sizable chunk of her health. I think this is the one where she just uses her foot. I can deal with that. It's pretty, pretty damn easy to deal with. Oh, she fires a little bit. That's not too bad. That was close. Uh. <laughs> Damn it, our um, internal heart is gone now. I really thought we could get through that fight without getting touched once. Oh well. At least we got some poison damage. Shit. Oh well. One more. There we go, okay, we've got our heart back that we lost. Um, unfortunately, we can't get that eternal heart back, and this is a shot speed upgrade? Yeah, the Cat of Nine Tails. 
Huh, that's, um... Well, let's go try beat our heart. Onto the womb we go. Maybe I can uh, beat Isaac on the first stream I've ever done of it. That would be pretty, <laughs> you know, pr pretty awesome. Uh, the boss fight is down, so I think we'll just move as quickly as possible because there are no um, item rooms, there are no shops. That's a heart. So we'll keep moving down. If we could just, like, go through without fighting anything, you know, that, that would be pretty good. I wouldn't complain too much about that, but we can't, obviously. You know, I'm just saying it would be nice. Why did they go through the rocks? That makes no sense. Whatever, man. It's okay. Virus database has been updated. Okay, now everyone knows what um, virus thing I... Antivirus I use. Avast. It's pretty good. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty good. Go away! Thank you. Uh, maybe a loop around down here? No. Okay, I knew that was too damn easy. But, um... Don't you dare come down. Um, yeah, stay there. Just just get shot. That's, that's your main goal. Uh, we can deal with the guts. The brains are more... D <sighs> that was awful damage. What are you doing, Jack? What are you doing with yourself? Just just shoot it. And hopefully you should drop hearts or something useful. A key. Or a penny. You, give me something. No? Fine. Uh, a heart. Useful. Thank you. So we got hit twice there. And they took a heart each. So... You know, from now on, it's uh, it's not easy being cheesy. Whoa, that tree was way back. Tammy's head. What does that do again? It just fires out in every direction. It's not that great. Shoot the whoop. Shoot the whoop is a little better. And we'll keep moving this way, hopefully. Blast assist. Wouldn't mind fighting you as a boss, to be honest. You're not too hard to deal with. Uh, says the man who's just about to get killed by Blastocyst. Then I've gone quiet. It's not because I have nothing to say. I usually have something to say, but it's because I have to focus a teeny tiny bit. And now, uh, just die, please. There we go. So we've got a chest. Give us two tarot cards. One is the chariot, and the other one is the hierophant. Hierophant gives us two spirit hearts. I'll take those straight away. And we'll take the chariot. We'll take the chariot with us. One up gives us another life. What does that mean with the hunk, though? Do they, like. I don't know. We'll just keep moving on. See what happens. See if we die. We'll open this, you know, for reasons of why not. Gave us key back. Uh, I should have let him have that two cents or whatever it is I picked up. But, you know. Whatever. Like, you know, whatever. Larry Jr., just, just die, please. You're an awful boss. You just kind of walk around. You just slide around, really. How are you not dead? Thank you. One of you exploded. 
Now you die. Thank you. Ooh, spirit heart. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I forgot the blue versions of things drop spirit hearts usually out there. And a pill. What does this do? Two's down. Well, fuck you then. We're gonna take the chariot into our boss fight, hopefully. Unless we die here three times, which I don't think we will. But I've been wrong before. Okay, that was close. Um, let's see who our boss is. Skolex. Um, never fought Skolex before. He's like Pin, but he's only got one weak spot, is it? Did a small bit of damage, I guess. And shoot the whoop. Doing a little bit more. Yeah, I think we'll just wait for him to stick his tail up to uh, to do any real damage to him. Because that seems ineffective. Okay, that'll kill us. And uh, we're going to be stuck with some explosions on our screen for a while. <laughs> it's just going to just, just, just slide over there. Thank you. Thank you for cooperating so much. Uh, you explosion people things. Just die already, please. Just why can't you be like those explosions? Those explosions didn't stick or didn't stick around. It's very hard to tell where those are gonna go. Why won't you just die? Thank you. Just be dead and all that. Now, we've got a HP upgrade and a deal with the devil. Hmm. What does that upside down cross do? I can't remember what that does. Well, we're just gonna have to find out, aren't we? Lord of the Pit. Oh, that was so stupid. I may have thrown the entire run away on just being an idiot and not knowing what I was doing. It gave me an ability to fly. <laughs> Why was that? Oh, because the um, graphic for the explosions were still there. I've just like, <laughs> I just threw away two hard containers because, you know, why not? Um, because I wanted to be able to fly twice, which was just awful. Um, yeah, everything is going okay on the stream. Hello, new viewer, whoever you are. Um, if you're live, take a nine, say hello. You're probably my favorite viewer at the moment. Oh, we've, we can fly, we can just throw one over here. Thank you. Um, Unless you're not Life Taker 9, then Life Taker 9 isn't my favorite viewer, you are. Because. <laughs> because you know why not? Every, every, everyone's a, a, a nice person and I like everybody. Let's just, let's just say that, okay? 
There we go. Oh! Okay, where am I going? Uh, the, the boss room's the other way. Pay attention, Jib. Pay attention. Um, oh, why did I do that? I hit shift by mistake again. Uh, should try not to be such an idiot so close to the end of the fucking game. Uh, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Thank God we have speed. Um... And I used to say that speed upgrades were useless. Money is awful. Bum friend! Pick up whatever the hell you want. Give me. That's it, really? The moon, what does that do? That takes us to the second secret room, I think. Wheel of Fortune is... That. Okay, whatever. Hurt. Well, at least we know it's here. Nothing, and... A coin that bum friend can pick up. No. Um, because we have the tick, we can't pick up this other trinket. And the moon takes us to the second secret room, I think? No, just the secret room. Alright, whatever. Um, anyway, we'll just move on and pretend none of that happened. Uh, that moon carried is pretty much useless because we got it in the secret room of the last floor. So, you know what? Shoop de whoop the body. Because you're just annoying and awful. And it's just going to take so long because our damage is awful. I mean, it's, it's better than we started with, but... You know, it's not great either. And uh, I'm going to deal with this pretty much any order because we can just hide in the rocks if things get messy. Because we can fly and all that. Like that. See? Can't touch us. Ooh. Try kill that blue one last for some reason. Uh, I think it drops a special item or something. But if it dies, it's not the end of the world. Or is it? We'll never know. Could change the entire outcome of the run if I just picked up that item that I dropped, but didn't kill it last, so... There's no way of knowing what could have... You know what I mean? Just just keep firing. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up and keep the trigger finger held down. <laughs> My god, I ran right into it. <laughs> okay. So, as, as, as I'm just sitting here holding down this uh, trigger, I'm going to tell you a story about my new shoes. I got new shoes, uh, recently enough. And uh, I decided to go for a walk today. And uh, my house is... Uh, there's a, a town, literally, just two miles down the road, so, you know, it's, it's not really worth getting in the car for. So, uh, I decided to walk today in my new shoes. But, um... My feet are really prone prone to blisters, so yeah, my feet are like destroyed right now. I'm covered in blisters. So that's uh, that's how I'm feeling. How are you guys feeling? Oh, he's gone. Oh well. <laughs> Our one viewer is gone. Now it's just me. Die. Thank you. Go away, pretty bum. Thank you. Uh, up to the fight. Guts we can deal with, they're just gonna hug the wall. I don't think I've ever been hit by a gut. Uh, famous last words, but you know what I mean. If we could just kill this guy. Thank you. It would make our lives so much easier. We can focus on the guts that are going around the walls. Thankfully, they're all going the same direction. And the cube of meat is also quite offensive. Quite offensive, not offensive. But I 
I guess that's the same thing. Anyway, whatever. Um, our boss room, I think, is over here. Yeah. Uh, so there's a heart there. There. Not there. There. And our boss room is above us, slightly. So this shouldn't be too difficult. Well. Well, it's not going to be too difficult to get there. And we should have a shoop de whoop charge when we get in there. We should. Unless the game wants to just completely screw me over. Okay, shoot to whoop charge. Random pill, why not? Don't be a telepills. Range up is not very useful, but we're gonna move on and we're gonna kill mom's heart because we're awesome like that and Yeah, whatever. That was the worst bomb of all time. Hopefully that one's better. Whoops. Uh, accidental bomb, please work. You okay, you took out a, one of those things. Whatever they are. Bomb to the rescue. Take out the zombies. More bombs. I only took out one. Alright, whatever. We can deal with the other one, it's fine. And I'm doing quite well, I haven't taken any damage yet. Famous last words again. Okay, we're gonna. She's in permanent bomb state now. So. Oh, we've got no bombs left. So the heart's going to stay there, going to keep churning out bombs with us, and we're just going to... I think we have it won now. Range upgrade coming in handy. Not really, at all. One of the most useless pills that we've ever come across. And I think that the, the question of what the Ankh really does is not going to come... Uh, we're not going to find out, really. So, this is the end. My only friend, this is the end. Now, we've got to deal with the devil, which leads us to Shul. I think a quarter has appeared in the basement. Awesome. Uh, we could go fight the devil. Hmm. I've never done this before. So why not do it live? Let's see what happens. We're going down to um, Shoal, I think it's a pr it's called. But um, ooh, the music is different. And I think the end thing here is you just fight um, you fight the devil, basically. Uh, if you can get to it. Which I don't know if we'll be able to do, but we're going to cheat and go through here and fight Greed. 
upgrade is probably easier to deal with than anything else. Please drop her. One up has kept us alive. Run away. Go fight greed again. Pum friend, pick up stuff. Do whatever you want to do. Pum friend, why are you not working? Pick up the coins, man. It's your job. You had one job. Pick up the coins. Give me consumables. We may find out what the Ankh does in this situation of mine. But we've completed our goal. We've, uh, you know, we've, um, we've beaten Mom's heart. Now you do your job, you crazy asshole. Give me a heart. Thank you. Well, you, you half did what you wanted to do. The stairs is full heart um, full health pill basically gives you full health I think no, I've never even seen the devil being fought um, so I've literally no idea how it's going to go oh take the stairs wait what did that do wait what no I thought it did something completely different. I thought that was a, a full health thing. Okay, what does the Ankh do? The Ankh brings us back as Blue Baby. With three spirit hearts. Okay. Let's see if we can do this again. With slightly more health. We're gonna skip over this room. <coughs> We've beaten the greed. Okay, they explode and you kill them. That's good to know. Would have been nice to know about earlier, but whatever. See, a lot of these enemies I've never seen before. That's useless because we're relying completely on spirit hearts because we're blue baby. <coughs> these guys ain't so bad, right? Right? Oh god, I'm gonna die. Shoop do Key is useless, I think. What is that? It's a zombie. Okay. Thankfully, spectral tears go through those zombies' masks. And uh, I'm going to cower over here because I don't know what's going on, to be honest. Ooh. Okay. Pretty much useless. Whoa! How did you see me there? Did you look through the crack? Are you cheating? Uh, <laughs> one hit and we're dead. Oh well. Wow. 
And most likely we're going to die on the devil fight, but no one can say we didn't try. We've got some shoot to whoop. Let's see what happens. We're fighting Satan. Uh. Whoa. Well, that was a good... That was a good first stream, I think. Uh, yeah. The first time ever going to show. Like, granted, I didn't last very long. I died pretty much instantly, but, you know, whatever. Um... Back to the main menu. Uh, yeah. That wasn't awful, I guess. Uh, what have we done? We've... Killed Mom four times, and... We didn't see the ending on this one because we died, so we're going to watch the ending and I think that's going to be it. See what we got. Here's Isaac opening his chest. And he's got... a quarter. So... It's 25 cents. Thanks for watching, guys. And, uh... I think I'll stream another time. Thank you. That's pretty good. And always remember, dehydration is the enemy. Uh, I should put this up on YouTube straight after this, so um, watch it there if you want to see it again. I thought it was a good run, it was interesting. Uh, a few things I've never done before, like the Ankh. Didn't know what to do. If I, essentially we had three lives uh, because of the 1-Up and the Ankh. The 1-Up one -up, one -up worked first, even though we picked it up second, which is nice to know for future runs. And the Ankh does bring you back with three spirit hearts because you're a uh, blue baby. So, it's, it's nice to know. Nice to know. And if the Fallen hadn't summoned those two exploding things, we might have lived. But we'll never know. Maybe we can beat the devil the next time. Or Satan, or whatever it is. Um. Yeah, we, we fought Skolex for the first time. And of course Isaac. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.